Lynn here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How are you guys doing today? I hope all is well with everyone and that everyone had, had a great weekend. I did. I spent the weekend with my family up at Stacy's house, as a matter of fact. No video in this weekend. We just had a family get together and we just had a big time. And I, to be honest with you, am still recovering. Actually, I'm pretty much back on, on schedule now. But I was still recovering at the end of last week from our cruise and that jet lag. Man, that kicked my rear. <laughs> what can I say? It was craziness. Uh, but anyway, as promised, I've come back today to start on my outdoor decor. And today I'm going to be working on the mailbox. And that's all you'll see in this video, except for that I'm going to fix and to make a funky bow and show you how to do that. I thought this would be a good... Uh, kind of a tutorial video for a funky bow uh, because that's about all I'll do and then I'll go when I'll it is stinking hot outside I can't even believe I'm doing this but the first day of fall was you know has already passed and I am behind the times trust me you guys I would have had this up a long time ago had we not been on our cruise and then I had a busy week last week and I'm trying to blog too <laughs> Woo, I tell you it's been crazy but uh, I figured this will be a good tutorial for a funky bow because I, you know, I thought I would be able to fit more like the red wagon decor or the, or the lantern decor in with this. And I've decided I'm not going to do this. I'm going to have this be a standalone video, just the mailbox and a, a funky bow tutorial. I do want to show you a couple of things that I will be incorporating though out at the mailbox. I'm just not going to tie a funky bow on there and be done with it. <laughs> And yes, I did go out to Hobby Lobby this morning very quickly, and I purchased this little scarecrow girl in kind of a resin. There she is up close. Isn't she cute? Her big old feet <laughs> and her piggy tails. I just think she's adorable. So as you all know and saw, I have a trough that kind of sits in the back of that mailbox. So she will sit up in there and then I'll put some fall picks and whatnot around her. And I do have a mason jar, uh, solar mason jar out there that sits out there too. So the, this and the solar mason jar, and then I usually put some picks and whatnot around it. And I really don't have a lot of picks. I just have a couple of picks and there's really, it's not hard to do. Any of you guys could do this. So I'm not going to show my process of how I put it together. Other than I think I am going to, or Chris said he was, he's going to take a tie wrap and tie, put it around the, the trough and tie her on so that she doesn't get blown off. She's pretty heavy, but you know, you don't want to take the chance that she might be blown off. So we will anchor her down. Hi, Gracie. <laughs> Gracie just came up and nudged me right in the leg. What you doing, honey? Every time I sit here, she wants to get under my feet. Uh, she gave up. <laughs> she laid down beside me. Anyway, I did also pick up this little pick that I'm going to put out there, too, just to pick, you know, to stick it in the ground right beside the mailbox. So I thought the, this trio was pretty cute, and so I think I will stick them in the ground, too. And also, as most of you who have followed me for a while know, I also uh, used to have a sign holder for lack of a better way to describe it that used to uh, hang on my front porch in my other house but and I used to put these signs and you can find these at piperclassics.com I used to put these hang these signs on that holder and you know they would be off of the front porch so these are double-sided signs so now when we moved in here we don't have a front porch, a wooden front porch. Our front porch, it's covered all in the, uh, what is it, vinyl or whatever. It's something you don't want to put a hole in. So we decided that we, we took two little toggle, little, uh, I don't know what they're called, picture holder kind of things, and we, we screwed them up underneath the underside, the wooden part that comes up underneath the mailbox. And we hang, we did two of them, and we hang, I hang a sign on this. And I have many signs. I also have a blog that covers this, and I'll give you a link to that in the description and shows all the signs that I have. I also might have done a video about just how I do my, my mailboxes. I'm not sure if I did that, though, or not. Maybe it might have been something I meant to do and haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> my little mind is always a whirl, you guys. Always a whirl of things that I'm doing. 
Also today I'm going to be finishing up writing my third blog in my Alaska back-to-back -back Voyage of the Glacier series. So if you guys missed episode two, I will go ahead and put links to all three episodes in the description of this video. If I happen to get this video up before I finish my blog, then you might want to come back and revisit it if you haven't become a follower of mine on my blog. Uh, you know to come back and check for a link for that uh, if you would like to follow my blog and I'll give you a, just a link for this too you can just go to countrycraft.me hover over the right bottom right handed corner and a little follow sign will pop up you just click on it and you just have to give your email and then you can follow me but I'm I, I've inserted that video that I put up over the weekend uh, about our stateroom and in that video along with a couple of other little videos and uh, tons of information and pictures and whatnot of our embarkation process that's what is in this video or in this blog so anyway I'm gonna be finishing that today too I hope and then as we move through the week I will work on my uh, putting the wreaths up changing out my flags Doing the, red, doing the red wagon decor and redoing my lantern decor and incorporating those new things that I had purchased at Williamsburg and whatnot for the front porch. So I've got a busy week, a lot of things planned, a couple of videos coming at you guys, as I say, but this is gonna be the only one today and I'm rambling on. I've already caught seven minutes for crying out loud. <laughs> Gee whiz. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna turn my phone around and point it down and then we're gonna have a little funky bow tutorial. Be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back. And I've gathered my three ribbons. I changed my mind from the video I did last week about my third ribbon. So here are the three ribbons that I'm gonna use for the funky bow for the mailbox. As you know, my mailbox is white. So I thought this would be a nice one paired with this one. And then to bring in all colors, I thought that would be a pretty one. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut three strips of each of these ribbon at 30 inches long and I will explain why I'm cutting them at 30 inches after I'm finished cutting them. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video here. So all I'm doing is cutting, like I said, three strips of each ribbon. Well, I can finish this one and show you. And then I'm going to dovetail the edges. And go ahead and do that before I start putting the bow together. So as you can see, dovetailing just means making them pretty on the ends. And all I do, a lot of people, everybody does this differently. And I usually do it the opposite of what everybody else does it because, you know, I just like to be different. <laughs> no, really, that's just the way I've been doing it for 30 years. So it's hard to break a habit. I just fold it lengthwise and then I go on the edge and not the folded side. A lot of people start on the folded side. It really doesn't matter. You get the same result. Cut up at an angle and that makes your ends pretty. All right, so I'm gonna do that same thing with these other two ribbons, and I will be right back when I'm finished doing that, and then we'll put together this funky bow. Okie dokie, I'm back. As you can see, I've got all of my strips cut, and I'm ready to go ahead and start making this funky bow. So I've got three of each, so that gives me nine pieces of ribbon total. And as I said, I made them 30 inches long each. I also have a pipe cleaner waiting and ready. So what I wanna do is I wanna have 10 inch tails. And I'm probably gonna cut them down out there, but I'd rather have longer tails than shorter tails. Excuse my voice a little bit. I am a little hoarse from the weekend. I've been talking and chatting with my cousins and my aunts and uncles all weekend. <laughs> so I'm a little bit hoarse today. Anyway, so I want to go to 10. Well, that would give me one 10 inch tail. And then I want to go to 20. And this from 20 to 30 will give me another 10 inch tail. And then I want to bring 10 and 20 together 
which gives me a five inch, or hopefully pretty close to a five inch loop. And it did. And as you can see, this bottom tail is the opposite direction. So I wanna just give it a little twist and bring both sides up. Now, if you have two-sided ribbon, you don't have to worry about like this. It's two-sided ribbon. Well, no, it's not. Look, it's, yeah, it is. Wait a minute. My goodness, can I see? Now, this is a little less shiny than this side. Let me see about this. And that, they're all one-sided ribbon, so I'm gonna have to be twisted all the way. So, all right, let's go with the next one. Here we go, I go to 10, and then 20, and bring them together, and then I put it the opposite direction. Also, too, I am pretty new to the funky bow, to be honest with you guys. Where I learned how to do the funky bow from was from uh, Julie at Southern Charms Reeves. So I want to give her credit. The credit is due. Uh, but I do tweak and do things a little bit differently, and I'm kind of making my own kind of version. But that's where I learned the basic concept, and she makes some beautiful stuff. You should head on over and check out her channel. Southern Charms Reeves. Okay, here we go again. 10, 20. Pull it together. Doesn't matter if your, toe, your uh, tails are not quite the right size. I do try to make my make sure that my uh, loops are though. So I do kind of try to make sure that I have five inch loops. And then of course I come down here and I wanna twist that around to bring it up to the front. Okay, then we start the process all over again. Here we go, 10 and 20, and I'm gonna go ahead and let this run. I'm not gonna speed this up. I am gonna show you the whole process here today. Here we go, turn it this direction. Pinch it together. They, you, you can start trying to pinch them next to one another, but trust me, eventually they're gonna go on top of one another and just be kind of a jumble. And yes, your hand is gonna cramp, so just kind of hang in there. Like, I haven't made a bow in probably three weeks, you guys, so my hand is cramping right now. When I'm in shape, <laughs> or when I, if I've done, if I haven't done any for a long time, or if I've done too many, my hand will, will shake and quiver. But this, in this, at this time, I haven't done any for about three weeks. 10, 20, and then pull it together. Put it up that direction. Shoot, I even yammer along when I'm making a bow, don't I? Okay, next one. <laughs> Gee whiz. 10, 20, pull it together. Come this direction. I do like to double check those loops sometimes because sometimes I get a little bit off. Right side up, there we go. Three more, 10, 20. Oh, man, my hand is screaming at me. Woo. Two more, 10, 20. I'm in pain, can you tell? I've shut up. <laughs> One more. Alrighty. Here we go. Whew, I can barely move that hand I'm holding it with. So get your pipe cleaner and just wrap it around the middle. Kind of try to find the middle like I just didn't. The middle of your pipe cleaner. And wrap it on around, pull it tight, and use this hand for resistance, the hand that you're holding, if you have any strength left, but just hold it with, and, and pull it tight and twist. Whew, and then shake out that hand. Goodness gracious. All right, so there we go. <laughs> and now, the most important part of a funky bow, in my opinion, and that is the fluffing of the funky bow. First thing I want to do though, you know what? I want to pick 
which I think I'm going to pick this one, one of these ribbons, and I want to pull out a nice long piece, and I want to tie it into the pipe cleaner. And that is what I will use to tie it around my mailbox, and I'll make a pretty bow in the back, tie it onto my mailbox. But let me do this, this kind of in the, find the center point, and I want to snug this down into this pipe cleaner, and that's what I will use to tie the funky bow onto the mailbox. Now, I'm probably gonna do some tweaking here with you guys, and then once I get it out on the mailbox, I'm gonna go ahead and really tweak it and get it looking the way I want it to look. For now, because it is so hot, you guys. It is in the 90s here today, and I am just not gonna stand out there and try to video and do all that out there. I will video when I'm finished putting it all together. Like I said, I'm not doing anything that any of you couldn't do. It is just a matter of placing things and putting these little picks around that little little scarecrow, and that is it, and tying this bow on, honestly. Then I will cut down some of these tails a little bit so they're not quite as wild, but I wanna get it tied on there first before I do that. So, but as you can see, I think that's gonna make one really pretty statement out there on the mailbox. See, these are a little crazy for my taste right now, these tails. Actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of them down right now. I don't think they need to be quite that crazy. Look like Spike City out there. Is it still 100 degrees out there? Yeah. Just told him I wasn't willing to decorate out there today because it's so hot for the camera. I'd probably faint on you guys. I probably should have started these tails a little shorter, but I didn't know, you know? So I'd rather have them a little longer than a little than shorter. And as I said, I'm still new to this, so I'm, I'm still tweaking the way I do this. I guess maybe I always will, you know? Because I'm a tweaker, and I'm certainly no expert on the funky bow, but I sure love them. All right, I'm going to play around with this for a little while longer, then I'm going to go out to my mailbox. <clears throat> Excuse me, and after I'm done uh, getting everything in place and getting this tied on, I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product, which I am excited about. So, me and my funky bow will be back in a little while. Okie dokie, everybody. Here I am out at the mailbox and I just finished and Chris helped me, bless his heart. He got this little little girl all anchored in <laughs> for me and he helped me get this little sign stuck in the ground. I'm telling you guys, our weather has been so dry that he had to use a rock and pound that thing in. Our, uh, our poor yard and everything, it is just like a just a desert here right now it's terrible pray for rain you guys for this area it's bad 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 so we're not in a drought yet but i wouldn't doubt it if we don't get some rain pretty soon so anyway there's the funky bow <laughs> looking good and there's my mailbox cover and there there's the sun and i just took a uh garland a leaf garland and wrapped it around and then I had some of those fairy lights out here and Chris reminded me so we put some batteries in that and we twisted them in and around everything I just put some picks in and around the little girl and this is that solar mason jar I was telling you about 
and the fairy lights go in and around and through everything. So I will come out here later once it gets dark and take a picture of it for you. Uh, but for now, that is it, you guys, for the mailbox. It turned out cute. I'm really liking it. Tell you far now, the very last thing I want to do, I have my Never Wet spray out here with me. I will put a link in the description, but if I haven't gotten it there by the time you see this, you can always just go to Amazon.com. I get it off of Amazon and put in Never Wet, comma, fabric from Rust Oleum, and you'll be able to find it. But I will try to get a, a link for you. Anyway, I'm going to spray everything, especially the bow. I just put a quick spray around the picks. So there we go. I'm all finished. I tell you, fall is one of my very favorite times to decorate for. I bet I say that with all my decorating, but <laughs> anyway, there's the house. You can barely see it with all the leaves on the trees, but they are starting to turn a little bit. So, Alrighty, you guys, that does it for this time. I'll be back later in the week uh, for to show you my flags changed out and probably the lantern decor in one and the red wagon decor. I don't know whether I'll get it all in one or whether I'll need to do a couple. So anyway, for now, I'm finished for the day. <laughs> so I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.